we received a call from a client uh, a couple days back. She's getting married, and she wanted party favors for her guests for her wedding. And um, we have honey this season now. It's, it's, it was finally harvest time. But we didn't have honey for 90 uh, party favors, at least not at an economical price. Um, plus, we did want to reserve some of our honey for our normal customer base, um, and that would eat up a lot of our inventory. Um, so I suggested, and we've done this before, is doing party favors in test tubes, where you have basically a test tube full of honey, um, and um, she could give that away. And so she said yes, in fact, give me a hundred of those. And so we're in the process of getting that handled for her. This is a, um, a test tube we bought on Amazon. I think they're about nine dollars for a ten, for ten of them. It has a cork top, and we'll eventually, once we fill these with honey, we will dip these the ends in beeswax to seal them. And then we've had a label made up that we can put across here that describes the fact that it's real genuine DC honey. So how do you fill a um, hundred? Vials. Well, that's something we're struggling with right now, but we have a we think is a pretty good idea. We've taken each packet of ten and rubber banded them together with the openings facing up, and then we have a baking dish or a low dish into which each of those stacks or um, packages of uh, of test tubes can sit and then the hope is that we can just come through with a, um, a measuring cup or something filled with honey and then be very and very easily and without lots of waste fill up each of those test tubes uh, before we cork them. Uh, it remains to be seen. Wish us luck but I think this is kind of an interesting and innovative way of getting it done with the least amount of waste. Stand by. So we're about halfway through filling these, and it's going pretty well. We, we put the corks on a few just to see if our fill rate was working out well. And, and we're not being exact. We're eyeballing it. But we do want to make sure we, we uh, leave enough room for the cork to go in um, so that the uh, honey doesn't squirt out and also so we can get a good seal on it. But this uh, we're not getting a lot of waste. We've actually... Um, heated the honey just a little bit in a boil, double boiler just to bring it up a little bit higher the room temperature helps it flow a little better. Um, we'll show you when we're done. Okay all done. Some of them are a little overflow, uh, overfilled so we'll empty those out as we a little bit out as we um, cork them up but uh, again a hundred vials here they each hold about three quarters of an ounce and uh, it only took us about 15 minutes to fill them all uh, which I was a lot faster than I thought. Um, I think corking is going to take actually longer, um, but they're looking pretty good so far. So after doing all of our filling in this uh, baking dish, you can see there was hardly any waste, so it's not even worth going back to the bucket to returning it. Uh, so it was a successful um, experiment. So here's where we ended up here. Um, just to give you some perspective, here's my hand. This is about six centimeters long, holds about three quarters of an ounce. We filled up about a hundred of them. Here's about a little less, a little fewer than half of them here. And then here we have some molten wax or some liquefied wax, melted wax, uh, that we melted in the microwave. And we're just going to stick this in here to cap it. A little bit of wax. And you can see we've done some here. And then they're ready to be labeled. <laughs>